Hi, in this video we will learn how to use explain column feature on workbook calculations to discover advanced insights. We will use sample order lines dataset which has order details, product details, customer details for different orders along with profit, sales, etc. You might already know the explain column feature. A simple right click provides advanced insights about specific column that you select from your dataset. For example, right click and explain product category. Basic facts section shows a visualization and a series of descriptive statistics on how product category distribute other metrics in your dataset. The key drivers show the other columns in the dataset which highly correlate with the product category like discounts, sales, etc. The segment tab identifies segments in the dataset that shows significant behavior different from rest of the data. You can use same explain feature on workbook calculations as well. I have created a few calculations on this workbook. Let's say I want to analyze the dataset against calculation average order value. Let's take a look at the calculation first. It is simply sales divided by quantity ordered and it's a measure. Now right click and explain average order value. Basic facts show a bar chart with bin average order value against the count with highest being over 4k rows from 0 to 21. As you scroll down, you can see interesting insights with these visualizations which can be added to your canvas. You can either add all of them at once with the option here or select them individually. This looks interesting. One particular customer is significantly higher than others. Let me select this. Office supplies is way too lower than the other two categories. Let me select this as well. Product subcategory shows some interesting variations. Let me select that. Let's take a look at the key drivers. These are the top 10 most significant drivers that have highest correlation with average order value. As you see, the attributes like product subcategory and measures like discount, shipping cost, etc. are more significant drivers for average order value. I'm going to select discount and shipping cost to my canvas. Let's take a look at the segments tab. It shows the top 20 segments of average order value in the data set of 9000 rows with an average of 89.16. You can set up to 100 segments by modifying this value. Each segment is shown as a bubble. Segment 1 shows the average of 551 which is way higher than data set average 89 and this represents top 4.2 percentage of 9000 rows. Now let's add all the selected visualizations to the canvas by clicking add selected button. With few clicks, we were able to identify interesting charts and insights and create a canvas using explain on calculations. Explain works similarly on attribute calculations as well. Let's take a look at the customer level, which is a simple case statement and an attribute. You can right click and explain the customer level to see the insights for attribute calculation. Also, note that explain is not supported on complex calculations which change the grain of the query. For instance, year ago sales which uses a go function is not supported. So authors can now perform advanced business calculations and leverage the explain feature to seamlessly initiate in-depth data analysis with just few clicks. This significantly enhances the functional capabilities with powerful insights. Thanks for watching the video.